Hi Leo, this is Shah. Welcome to the channel Charlie's Angel Tarot and everybody that's new as well. Hello my cyber babes, thank, uh, angels, thank you very much for your support. I'm really grateful. Without you this channel wouldn't be what it is. But together we stand strong and we make it what it is. Okay, I've got some news for you. Um, please subscribe to your favorite channel because YouTube is throwing out their old system by the end of March and um, apparently people have been deleted. I have lost the 100 cyber babes as well and I'm sorry to have lost them. Boom, just in five seconds, they were gone. Otherwise we would have had 2,300 people. Well, I'm waiting and building it up, so please share and like this video and join me in the live session if you're new and I hope I'm among one of your favorite channels. And please leave your reaction in the uh, below the video. I would love to hear from you what you think about the cards or readings. If you would like to see the reviews, you can see them on the website as well, charliesangeltarot.com and there is a link in the right hand corner, a little white eye. If you click on that, it will take you straight to the website. And the rest of the information, if you would like an extended reading, is in the description box below. Okay, I'm using the Enchanted Dreams Tarot, um, most of you will know them, and this deck represents the feminine side of us and the ladies, because we've all got masculine and feminine within us. So, and I'm also using the Archangel, the Archangel Metatron deck, and I love that deck, I love Archangel Metatron and of course the Angel Feather Oracle deck. For the first card, for the seven, this reading is for the 17th to the 23rd, and you've got the Six of Cups. Sorry for the glistening, is that better? And the Six of Cups means that somebody might be coming back from the past and bringing a gift, or you might be remembering or reminiscing about your childhood or the past. Archangel Metatron gives you water, emotional well-being, and you've got number seven. Number seven, you, luck is on your side and you are emotionally balanced. Nearly no. Okay, so you're beginning the week very well, Leo. Now we're going to um, the midweek, and that is Wednesday. And you've got the two of pentacles. What can you not balance? Perhaps you're trying to balance your heart and mind or heart and soul or your love life and your work life or your home life and your work life. Perhaps you're trying to balance the finances. Okay. It means that you might have to be making decisions or choices. Perhaps you might have to make choices or decisions in order to get things into balance. And you've got 17 and 17 is 8. And 8 is the powerhouse, the powerhouse and the money house. Conquering fear, conquering fear. Try to conquer your fear and um, start today. Start today by conquering your fear. Then on Friday we have the Seven of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles means what you sow you shall reap. If you do good you'll get it back threefold. If you do bad you'll get it back threefold. And also you could say, uh, in that respect, it is also karma card. So if somebody's done you wrong, they will get it back threefold or good as well. But something has taken time or has to take time to come to fruition before it can blossom and that you can harvest. 
perhaps you've done an in investment and you are seeing the return on your investment. Archangel Sandalphon is with you and he's with you now. He's the Archangel of joy and music as well, mainly music. So sit quietly and listen to music. Let the ideas come in and relax. Relax and let the ideas come in. Millie is what Millie is on my lap and she's listening and she's closing her eyes as, as if she's going to meditate. She's beautiful. You'll see her in the life. At the weekend, we've got the Three of Pentacles. Wow. And you have recognition. This could be in business, this could be at work, so you might be getting a promotion. Um, just let your fears go, like I said. Um, don't be scared. Uh, you might be scared that you, you might not be moving on and getting a promotion. You will, so long you stand strong and remain strong in your power. This card, eight. And this card, I forgot, Sandalphon is 22. So the angels are giving you a doorway to a better future. Awesome. And this is number 19, and that means two. So at the end of the weekend, you are in, bal in balance. Sorry, 19, nine and one is an ending of phase, a new beginning. It's 19. And this, the dragon, Stay, stay strong like the dragon, but it's also, to me, it represents a bit like the phoenix rising from the ashes. And you've got fire, so it also means action, action. You've got a dragon's strength, that is what it says, you've got the dragon's strength. So stand in your strength, midweek and in the weekend, and you you will have that ending. You are strong. You can make that decision and take the necessary decisions and choices and actions. And we've got per perceptive. Perceptive. You are perceptive enough to decide. You are strong, Leo. You represent strength. You know that patience and love heals all and get you back into balance. Again, this is the hanged man, and you've got the, she's hanging on the pendulum, so she's not in balance. She's trying to um, get into balance, but what she's forgetting, if the time carries on, okay, the time cannot stand still, but we all need a moment to sit still and be still, to get perspective and to get back into balance. That is also, there might be delays, there might be things pending, so make sure which thing you have to finish off first in order to get to that new beginning. The hand man or the perspective also means Try to get a different perspective on things. Perhaps change your ideas about something in order to get the balance. You have the um, orange angel feather. Choose to feel good. Well, that is the whole reading. Choose to feel good. The angels ask that you let go of old emotions and any emotional pain from the past. When these are released, you will warm your heart. That is the fire. Boom. Orange, orange, orange. And the six of cups. Remember the past. Forgive yourself and others and move on. Perhaps that is the decision that you have to make. Now, the crystals that you can use, Leo, is carnelian, 
Arab, uh, Arab gonite, coral, copper, sunstone, orange calcite, and topaz. And topaz. Now, your birthstone, that is, let me have a look. I, I don't remember everything out of my head, of course. I'm only human. But your birthstone, birthstone is sardoxnite and ruby and peridot. So if you are interested in um, seeing um, seeing uh, um, a stone or wearing a stone or make, getting a bracelet, then use one of those stones that I've mentioned. The Archangel Gabriel is create creativity and dissolving fear. And this is, uh, where was it? Um, conquering fear. So, ask Archangel Gabriel to help you, to enhance your vitality, your creativity and your originality. He can help you dissolve fears. And also Archangel Saffron, Saffron, Sandalfon is with you. He brings harmony and music into your life. I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Leo. And if you would like uh, further assistance or advice, then please contact me through the website or um, through the email, which is below this video. Um, and um, I'll get back to you ASAP. And remember, I love you all. Please have a beautiful week. And please share this video with family and friends. And let's get back to the 2000 ASAP. And the family is growing rapidly. I love to see you in the life and I hope that I can give you a free card. If you would like an art question answered shortly, abruptly, and um, uh, for a fair price, then you can also come into the life and do a donation. And I'll give you a three card reading with an oracle card. And I'll be honest that if uh, I think it is advisable to do an extensive reading I will advise you on that. I also advise people when they shouldn't do a reading because the time isn't right or for whatever reason. Okay I love you loads remember that you're a strong person don't be scared just talk to your angels and also the orange color you can wear it you can eat orange you can drink orange juice and you can meditate on the color. This will help you to detox and to get less stressed. I love you all. Take care and be blessed. Ciao, ciao.